Hey guys, it's Paul. I want to give you a quick walkthrough, or as quick as I can, a walkthrough how to set up Fourth Wall. I use it for PNUK membership, and I'm going to start using it for Paul Nicholson training membership. And I want to just show you how easy it is to set up, add links to your site, go through, add a membership, add discount codes, add some, maybe like a buy me a coffee or a thank you contact form, how to add merch that you can also add to your YouTube channel, uh, how to link your latest videos, your latest content, and whatever else you need. As I go through, I'm going to try and make it step by step. What I will do is, in the uh, description or in the bottom, you will see, I will uh, put different categories, not categories, chapters for each aspect as I uh, go through it, so that you can jump to the ones that you need. If what helps me in these videos is if you pause me now and in the comments tell me why you're here, tell me what you're looking to do, and if it's something I don't cover in this video, I will quickly make a video for you or I will point you to a place where you can do it. Uh, and let's get you sorted, let's get you firing with fourth wall. I think this is excellent for creators, and even now, there's smaller businesses or even bigger businesses could use fourth wall for a lot more to add to their business. So pause me, tell me why you're here, and I will answer the best I can, and then we'll get into it. So let's start with, come to pnuk.com forward slash fourth. This is where some information, some training information, and all the links for fourth wall are, including pricing. And we need to talk about how much it costs. It's absolutely free. It, your merchandise, there's no percent charge. Your digital products, so if you sell something digitally that isn't something that needs to be sent out, Fourth Wall will charge you 3% of your charge. Your memberships, you're going to pay 5% on your memberships. And that is it. It's free to log in. It's free to sign up. Much more included. Everything's included. But the big question here for this section is what's the requirement? You're not going to be able to sign up unless... You have a hundred plus followers on Twitch and three months uh, a three month old account. You have got five hundred subscribe or this is or not all of them or you have five hundred plus subscribers on YouTube and a three month old account or you have a thousand Twitter followers and a three month old account. So before you go any further, understand it is free, but you do pay a little bit of commission on your digital products and your memberships. Physical products are no no percent. Everything else is included, but you have to be hitting that threshold to be able to continue. So let's sign up. Let's get started. If you've hit those requirements, then come to pnuk.com forth and hit sign up or website login. It's the same. So I get, I think, and this is this is good for you to know as well. If you refer a friend, you get fifteen dollars off a sample product. So when you start doing merchandise, you want them to send you a sample, you get a $15 credit. So I think you can get up to three $15 credits. So your nickname, what's the nickname gonna be? This will be visible to your community to see the name or nickname you publicly. So okay, so we're gonna put in, it's not really a nickname, but that's all right. I'm gonna go, where do you mostly create content? I am a YouTuber. Uh, search for your channel, YouTube channel. It is Paul Nicholson. I don't know if that's going to... This is me. That guy's a basketball coach. Who else is there? But this is me. Continue. It's probably going to ask me to uh, verify. It may ask you to verify, but I may be already logged in because I've already got that fourth wall account. We're going to look for a website theme and decide which one. You can change this later. So you're not tied to it. So what do I want? What do I want? Which one am I saying? Which one do I use on the other? I think I use this one on the other. Uh, green, dark, red. Mm. It doesn't matter, but I think I'm drawn to this one. I could preview it. I could have a look at it. I could tinker with it. But yeah, for some reason, I am drawn to that one. So I'm going to start with this theme. Oh, here we go. Now I have to sign up with YouTube. Now I've got a lot of different channels, and it is this one. Yeah, this one. Them names don't always line up if you've changed your names. We're going to allow Fourth Wall to access. Add an email address to your account. 
where we can send you send important updates. So I'm going to put in teamatpunk.com. Again, you can probably change this later, just because my main email is probably used on that other account. And there we are. We're logged in. We're signed up. Select your theme. It didn't actually say, uh, please verify your email address. Okay, so I've obviously got an email coming. That's my website saying it's hurting. Oh, that, I've just put team, so it's going to bounce from another email, which may take a minute or two. But that is how to set up quickly to sign up. Okay, here's the, the verify your email address. So you didn't click that. I've already verified it, to be honest. I filmed this bit once, and I forgot to save the recording. So I have created my first product. But it, to me, it didn't make sense in the step because you can't view it until your, uh, until your site has launched. So I'm gonna, I'll come back to that step, keep an eye on the chapters, but I'm just going to carry on to this one, right? 20 minutes it's saying this is going to take. So when we come now, so that is actually the product that I've just created. So it is showing it. And again, even this is, to me, this is a little, again, a bit out of whack. It doesn't really need to be set up this way but we can change the settings we can change the image and uh, all the different information so if you've got a drop so this is wanting to show see the announcement bar let's just go through the different parts announcement bar at the top you might say new merch drop uh, enable countdown and say uh, this it would be good if this was a time picker i think it must be is it not a time picker? I'm going to have to type it all in. E.g. August 21. All right. September uh, 1, 2023, 09, 100 till September uh, 10th, 2023, 09, 100. Uh, no, let's go. 17. Right, it's going to show. So that shows at the top. If you have got a drop, it's going to start. And then when it starts, it would show an ending. So you'll see on my, on my, uh, I just used it as an announcement to sign up. Look, 123, let's make 24. So that's where the end date would be. Here's the start date, which is there, right? So that's the, the top, the new merch. If you haven't got anything, or you haven't got an announcement, just turn it off, isn't it? There is a custom version. I don't see as we need that. Header, uh, that is the header. Featured collections, so we can't change this. Featured collections, so that's the, the products that you're going to be sharing. Again, we could tinker with all this later. Uh, Paul Nicholson. Merch. Show a view all button. That's it, view all. Collections, layout 18. Maybe we just want to do one because we've only got one product. It might make it a little bit big. So you can just tinker around, around with it. Your donation page. So you've got this. Thanks for your support. Uh, your name. Uh, thank you for so much. You just leave a message if you want. You can change the you can change the price in here if you want more money. Donate. You might change this to uh, buy me. Uh, coffee. I don't think I did it this way. Ask any questions. I'll answer as soon as I can. Something like this, right? So you can tinker around with it. You can change it. I like how it auto saves itself. Any images? We could obviously got to change that because that's not me. Let's delete this. I don't, I don't actually have any images set to put in there. Image banner. Again, maybe just delete it if you don't need it. Donate the YouTube feed. Recent, so it's automatically picked up my um, YouTube feed. Latest 12 videos because I signed up with YouTube. So it's going to point people to all my latest videos, which I like. Instagram feed, I'm not connected, so it's not going to know how to do that. But then you can go through and edit the checkout pages Tinker with the settings in the checkout. Your coming soon page is what uh, what obviously is currently because it's not live. Social media links you can add your Instagram. What are we? Uh, punk. Com on Instagram. You can add your Kickflow Patreon. 
Twitter, Punk.com, Twitter. So it's going to show up our links. Facebook is up in me, Punk. At the minute, that needs changing. So again, we can have we can all of a sudden start to have down the bottom here. It is that. Is it all? Does it need? Am I? It might all need to be lowercase on Facebook. Yeah, there we go. It's obviously had a look and couldn't find it. So it's really easy to set up. It's easy to play around with. You go to your layouts and you go back to your home page. You can move these around if you want uh, to edit this menu. So browse all. We might have uh, add a page link, which is a link. We might say contact. And... Uh, pnuk.com contact that sends to my contact page but you can have a contact page within this so let's put it here uh, privacy customer that's in the footer so you want to change the footer menu you want to change this we're going to change those settings so it's really self-explanatory it's really quite easy to use and you know that you don't you don't you can tinker around with it when you have a membership page uh, membership tiers because I would really make this my top like I do on team I make it at the top become a member uh, I haven't set the membership up yet uh, become a member membership tier center left your images will appear here become a member oh here's the tiers right I've just um, I've just how do I delete that there we go delete delete and then if I want to move this around, I just drag it about, right? Put it at the top. But we need to set some memberships up. So that's a quick overview of setting up the layout of your page. When you are ready to make it live, allow early access for a password, schedule it going live, or just fire it live. And you can now see, view all. Is there a preview button here? General. No, there isn't. There doesn't seem to be, is there? PN UK view site. Okay. Now, if I go back to my product that I created earlier and here now, because what happened before this link didn't work, it said coming soon, as it still does. There we go. So now it's live. So we could have just gone to your URL, but we can see that everything, the merch, the contact button should take me off to another page, which it does. And it is live. But we are going to continue to tinker with this as we uh, get further into it. Right, so let's put a product on there and jump back to creating your first product, which I deleted. But we're going to go to products. We see the hat that I've already created. I'm going to create a really basic t-shirt, easy t-shirt design. You can sell your own stuff. If you've got things to get rid of or you've just bought in bulk or you want to sell higher quality um, merchandise, this is all coming from a, a company called Printful. I've done videos on Printful. I have ordered hats and, and cups and all sorts from Printful. They're very good. And Fourth Wall, work with Printful to drop your, uh, your stuff. I prefer hats and cups because they're one size fits all. It's, you know, it's, you're not going to get a lot of returns. But obviously, Fourth Wall... They say somewhere that the, the returns are not, sizing returns are not allowed back because all the information on sizes is provided. So we're going to sell a t-shirt, right? So what we want to do is, I don't want this t-shirt. I want to, you know, we're going to go all products and t-shirts, home living, t-shirt. Every time I come, here we go, apparel, cotton t-shirt, recommended t-shirts. Here we go. So these are $14.99 base. This one's obviously a little lower quality. Eleven ten. Uh, sort by recommended. Uh, sort by price. Low to high. So you get the obviously the cheapest. The more it costs, the more it depends what you how much you want to charge for it. I thought there was one about ten fifty. Eleven ten. Bella and Canvas Super Soft. Stella Organic. I don't know enough about t-shirts but i'm going to go with this one and i'm going to go uh super soft xl right 
So this one's recommended, no minimum ships from US, no minimum. It's gonna cost 11 basic and there's 33 different colors. So we're gonna pop in that. This is what I've just been playing with, let's get rid of this. So it just asking for an image, I've just downloaded a test image. So uh, if we go here, I wanna show you on team, it's, we're gonna do this, this t-shirt, right? So do you feel lucky, punk? This is what it's gonna look like. We're gonna have all these different color options. And this is uh, how easy it is to set up. So let's go back here and I'm gonna upload that image, which I've just downloaded. I think it automatically sizes it. Uh, I may have, this might be a smaller image of that. So as long as the image itself is within that box, depends how big you want it to be. Drop it in, tinker around, go to fabric colors, and then set, you know, the, your usuals, your whites, your black, your navy, your greys, the prop, uh, is it grey, is that grey, maybe uh, tinkered, Tink you've got up to 12 different colours here. I do like, no one ever buys the colours that I like, but um, yeah, just want to show you, you can get up to 12 different colours. Where are we at? Peach, heather orange. Obviously, don't pick anything that clashes with your colours in the background. I'm just going to keep going. There you go. There's 12 colours. And there's the T-shirt. If you wanted to, you can put other prints on there. More prints you use. My voice is going, sorry. More prints you use. Obviously, it'll cost more. But we're just going to go with this. It's going to set up a lot of mock images for us. And... Uh, it's very simple to do, isn't it? I think you're getting the drift of... It's drag and drop, it's tinker around. It's really not hard to set up. But it's it's the, the opportunity it gives for creators or any business to start selling merch, to start selling... So if you wanted this T-shirt, to someone go, oh, where did you get that? Oh, it's it's the PNUK T-shirt. Well, what's that? Oh, PNUK.com. It's, um, it's, a, it's a place for content creators tracking rankings and stuff like that, it's really cool. So if I wanted this, this is not cost me anything other than the logo, right? <laughs> the image to make. So you'll make 1090. So I could sell that for 14 bucks. I think 14 bucks. Yeah, I've got minimums 1360. I could sell that for $14. If I just wanted to get my name out there, just wanted to get get my brand out there. It's also good for giveaways, isn't it? it to do a do a contest where you say, oh, you get a punk t-shirt. If, uh, comment on this video, you get a punk t-shirt. If you want to make some more money out of it, if you want it to be a more uh, lucrative branding, if you, people are going to pay 19 25 for 24 99 Remember, uh, there's also postage and packaging on top of this. I like that 19 99 Maybe I like, actually, I think I like that 17 99 for t-shirts. I don't know why. Maybe it's because I'm tight. I'm from Yorkshire. Do you feel lucky, punk? T-shirt. And that's it, right? Bang. Next. Our categories are away. Our posts are away. We can go up here and change the URL. So if you don't like this long URL, we can change it. Voice is definitely going. Uh, edit the additional section. So if you want to edit the sizing and things like that, I wouldn't recommend, but you can go through and tinker with it. You can uh, add more photo photographs if you've got any. And you can change, duplicate, so we can copy this and go again. Advanced settings, I'm not sure. This is I don't know what that means, the sound scan. I think it just means it's a good image. And we can make it public. So now we are up and that is now selling on the website and people can change color change uh, links add things right change the sizing I mean, excess to 5xl is excellent as well isn't it tinker around add it to a cart and you are away selling merch within whatever that was probably less than me waffling on what you can do is create a collection. So there I have got a punk collection. You can make it sold out or, or um, 
make this collection time limited so you can put a limit on it so the punk i'm going to say is this i can go back and sorry save up here sometimes it auto saves sometimes it'll say in the top uh, it'll say in the top uh, save like it did there so then there's a happy me collection again add products the hat is happy me and save now when we go to our website there's a collection but you see browse all is now going to show all so you could make this section just for your pnuk and this one just for your for other for your happy me stuff lots of different things you can do i think it's really cool but that is how to set up collections and your first product let's quickly talk about i, I can't really explain this too well but let's go and go 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 um Let's go to settings and, and order samples. So if you wanted, before you put that live, create a new order and you wanted to test that shirt, they give you a discount on the shirt to, so you'll buy it at cost and you can go ahead and order the shirt that you fancy, select the items and order it as part as. So you can sample it, you can change it, test it and then send it out. You do get credits for orders. If you get more people uh, onto fourth wheel you'll get $15 credit I think if I saw if you sign up for discord you get $15 credit but that's just a way that you can order your order your printful merch make sure you're happy with it and then send it live which is probably a good idea isn't it let's quickly talk about selling a digital product so you can sell this and you the only charge here is um three percent you're going to charge three percent so let's sell that same image let's say uh happy me sorry what's not it's not it's uh, do you feel lucky punk poster right i'm not sure exactly how this is going to work uh full size poster uh of that right information whatever it could be it could be a spreadsheet could be a downloadable book could be a pdf book i mean could be uh anything i can't think what would you download <laughs> it might be a video it might be a private video you could use this as maybe a cameo pay 30 quid for a cameo no you couldn't that that is probably a different thing i'm thinking of in my head you could you could you know a private video that isn't part of your channel you could say as a one-time video Here's a application download up to two gigabytes. So we're going to add the uh, Do You Feel Lucky Punk. Now, 5.8. So that's added. We can add a price. We can then add the product image, which is that. Uh, you'll make 29.10. Right, so 30%, 3%, right? Now, you can't sell it for free, I don't think. Can you sell it for free? Mark has sold. Save. Will it let me save it for free? Product has been saved. All right. So it did work. Right. Public. Save. The reason I want it to be free is I don't want to buy it without having to prat about putting anything in, right? Okay, so it's free. There's the image. Do you feel lucky? Add to cart. Uh, check out. I want to see the the uh, experience of. I want to edit the cart, right? I don't, I'll return to cart. Do, do 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 do. Get rid of this. Delete this. Check out. Information. So yeah, I like this. This is a good option, isn't it? So you can add. You can add. You know, you can pay a dollar for it. So you can give something away for free. Uh, do, do, leave a message. Uh, contact information email me big announcements so this is sign up for your newsletter so it's a good marketing way to sign up for your newsletter in it email me uh united kingdom postcode I don't, why do you need a postcode uh, okay that's not a real postcode i'm not sure it'll know leave a message thanks for the poster <laughs> add donation continue to payment complete order 
Take me to a download page. Download. I like that. That is cool. So obviously you can charge for that. You can um, you can charge for whatever your download is, but it gives you a real option to give things away for free, doesn't it? A signed poster or a uh, a, a, a digital... Uh, they're into selling digital backgrounds on Etsy and stuff like that, but I think that is cool. So... Uh, let's talk about memberships, probably the main aspect, one of the biggest things for this site, even though I think that product stuff is really cool. Set up memberships, join our Q&A, make your memberships digital, learn more, set up a membership. It's really easy to do, but I might get my words a bit mixed up, which wouldn't be anything new. Oh, here we go. We've got, um, we've got, a, we've got a playlist to go through. So set up perks. So add new tier. So I'm going to sort of, in this video, I'm going to do the same as what I've done for Team Punk. If you want to come and join Team Punk, uh, it's five bucks a month. But the first year is free if you watch my latest video on Punk. Uh, so I'm going to call it Team PNUK. Uh, join Team PNUK and grow your, your, I don't know why, passion into a business. I don't know why I... um. I seem to like the capital letters and them things. How much is it? It's five dollars dollars a month. One time, one time discount fee. One offer one time discount for new members. First month discount. I'm going to say twenty five percent. In fact, I'm going to say a hundred percent. Like I've said there, your first month is free. Gives you a time to get them in. You might say ten percent off or something like that. It's up to you. I'm going to go training file. Add the old punk logo. So you can change this if you want. You can obviously offer if returns or a 30 day money back guarantee, but that is our new tier, our first tier. Maybe our second tier is punk VIP team, which I'm not going to offer. I like the idea of one option, even though I see everybody offering different and I've seen marketing strategies say offer two medium and one really high tier. Uh, add all your, in fact, yeah, no, that's fine. Add all your team uh, to the membership. I don't know why this, this probably won't work, but um, my, my theory is they're going somewhere else for this membership, not this actual platform. So this is a bit of a stupid idea. 25 bucks a month, different color punkaroo. One time discount again. We're going to offer a first month for free. Add tier. And that's going to be if a company wants all their employees to join, they could pay 25 bucks. But again, I wouldn't be able to let them into this membership, would I? So then we're going to set up perks. Let's go back to uh, the overview. Have we ticked off that? Yeah. So now we're going to create a welcome message. Oh, no, we didn't do tier. Yeah. I don't know why it clicked it off. I haven't done tiers. I haven't done perks. So, should I split this into different categories or channels? No, it's all right. Let's do it all at once. Add a perk, custom perk, and then we're going to say... Uh, channel highlighted on pnk.com. And this is available in both team and the VIP. We're going to say... Um, Unlock forum categories. Unlock all forum categories. Right, so my forum's got some lockdown categories to members only. Um, Discord membership included. Not probably the right wording. If I want to add a perk that is only like a one-on-one -on -one Calls with Paul, tick untick team, add the perk to here. And then we've added the perks. So now if we go back to the memberships, create a welcome message. Uh, don't use welcome message, use the same welcome message for each tier. So we can go through. If you've got an image or a video, uh, thanks for joining. Team PNUK, thanks for joining. Uh, let me know how I can help. I'm such a wordsmith. How I can help. 
save. So we've ticked that checkbox off. Create your first post. Maybe we'll put um, uh, welcome to Team Fern UK. Here are the links to follow. But this probably should have been the welcome message, shouldn't it? Um, video upload embed. Yeah, let's do this. Right, let's go here. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. Faster ways to do this. Oh my word. I didn't mean to do that. I meant to do uh, fourth wall. So there's training on my site as well. And here, this video is this video. When you get a um, embed this. Picks up the video. Maybe think about for wall for your membership site uh, this is my fourth wall membership i meant to put i use fourth wall uh very easy to use whatever it might be <laughs> i kind of zoned out in my boredom there Add some tags if it's about community or it's about YouTube or if you've got different categories and then publish it. Can we go to this? Can we view it? So here we go. This is going to be on the website. Holy crap, that's a bit big, isn't it? You can write a comment. They can uh, answer. Oh, it's going to be in videos. There's a video section, I think, of the community. What else have we got to do? Add memberships to your homepage. So add membership to, I think we already have, add memberships to your homepage, allow members only, yeah, so confirm, will it do it for us? So we're going to get a menu bar, we're going to get a menu bar that's members only. There we go, menu, feed, video, so what I just did there was a video, wasn't it? That's why it was so big, so again, feed, the latest feed, uh, the perks, view posts, uh, welcome, so I like that. So when we go back to the uh, the main site now, we do have this videos, the perks. Oh, that's just a header, right? The videos. If you go here, it's then the biggest, the bigger image. When you get a bundle. Uh -huh. Cool. And now on, because we've already done it and it added it, I think for us. Now, when they come to our site, we have those two perks. First month free. And... I've already signed in. I've got to log out now. Log me out. Thanks very much. Oh, it logs you out. Weirdly, it logs you out to the um, to the fourth wall, rather than that you're back to your homepage, right? But anyway, that's how you set membership up. I think we've ticked all the boxes, and now we're re now we're ready to uh, start our membership. Start seeing how many people are coming in, writing posts giving discounts and things like that. Uh, but we are away and flying. Is there not a, a link? They could really do with a link to the damn website, couldn't they? Especially as the... Uh, oh, I see. Especially as... The... Oh, what have I done? Oh, yeah, here we go. Yeah, the website's just this at the top. If I get rid of that, that's the website. So Paul Nichols and Shop, fourthwall.com. But they could do with a preview button, couldn't they? Especially as it's uh, it's not obvious. Log out, return. Right, I'm going to log back in, and then we'll get on to uh, the next chapter that I'm going to decide while I'm logged out. So I see that my uh, introduction, or the, I see this is dragging on now. There's lots of other little functions that we can do, and just request, just request other things. But the one thing that I want to show you is how to set up your DNS settings which can be a bit funky, to take away Paul Nicholson, Paul dash Nicholson dash shop dot fourth world dot com. I want to make this shop dot PNUK dot com. It's actually eventually going to become Paul Nicholson dot com, but I'm not ready for doing it. And I've got to set this whole thing up for, for Paul Nicholson dot com. So well, how to do it, we're going to go to settings, domain, connected domain. Now, this is one of the easiest things I've ever, ever, ever done with setting up DNS settings, and they're a pain in the arse. So now it depends where your website is hosted. GoDaddy, is it Bluehost, 123 Reg, 
or is it hosted on Cloudflare? Mine's on Cloudflare, but as you go, say you're going to put in what you want it to be. So let's say we want it to be shop.pnuk.com. It's going to go look at what my settings currently are. It's going to tell me where I can see that you're set up on this domain and your information's here. And it needs to do a lot of settings to, to be able to email for you and things like that. So we're going to go encrypt. Uh, we're going to use entry to set it up, which is good. It's going to analyze my website. It's going to detect. It's going to set up and it's going to ask me my provider. Now, like I said, you may be GoDaddy. You may be uh, Amazon or 123 Reg. I am Cloudflare and it's going to set up. I believe I'm logged in. So I'm going to authorize it and it's going to tell me the settings that it wants to change which is basically add that subdomain, you know, so we're uh, authorized. These are all my settings. Just to have a quick read through. It's going to add support.shop. It's going to add this. So it wants to be able to send emails for me. And these are verifications to let it do it. So I'm going to authorize. And it's going to go shop is now configured. Done. And it should take me to a list where it won't work until you uh, view DNS settings. And now look, shop, it's uh, X. What we want to do here is verify records. And it's going to take, you see one of them's working. It's going to take four or five minutes. You're like a GoDaddy could take 10 or 15. So you might need to leave this, come back later. Now Cloudflare is pretty quick. So you can see the ticks coming up as it's taking. Let's just keep verifying. I'm pretty sure oh, it may or may not. Uh, it may or may not work. So the shop as a minute is not working. There we go. We've got the ticks. So it's checking itself. So now we've only got a couple of ticks, which are the um, uh, the emails. Verify again very quickly. But it's basically saying shop is working. Uh, which it will. It will. Let's try a different browser. It's the funkiest thing setting the DNS settings up. So it's saying it's working, but it isn't yet because Safari can't establish connection. So maybe we haven't quite got a full, a full um, ticked off box, but that will start working. You do have to sort of leave it. Come on. <laughs> it's the hardest thing that I ever do in videos, but this is the easiest way to set up any DNS. You can manually do it. But it will start working in four. Oh, we got we got full tickified now. So come on, baby. Okay, finally came up. It did take a little bit of. I kicked it in the nuts a few times and redid it. You may get. You may find best to just leave it for an hour and come back to it before you tinker. I was just trying to get it done. But you can see now we are working at shop.pnuk.com, and that is where our membership and everything else lives. DNS can be the most painful part of setting up a website, but that's about it. What you need to also do is go to settings and um, create your billing and payment options. When you go to, I'm going to click on that. I think it might jump. It's going to want to set up a, a Stripe account for you so they can pay you once a month. You also have to put a card in so that if there's any charges or chargebacks on your card, you know, for example, when you take... Um, What's it called? Samples and things. It has to be able to charge a card. Things like that. I'm not going to set that up in this video. If you get any real problems with it, let me know and I can have a look at it. I think that we're about done for this video. Hopefully you can see the real benefits of Fourth Wall. I am using it. I think it is an absolute uh, sort of game changer in respect to things that it takes away. It is absolutely free to use. It takes away the accountancy side. You don't have to account for every sign up. You don't have to account for every merch sale, for every donation, for everything like that. And if you're VAT registered like me, it can be a real pain. If um, if you want to look at a video about that sort of thing, what I'm talking about is uh, the fourth wall is a game changer on the punk channel where it replaces WordPress and Shopify and Patreon and Buy Me A Coffee, Teespring and YouTube members, stuff like that. I think it's worth checking out. Any questions, any comments, leave it below. If you're a YouTube creator or a creator in general looking to build a business, visit pnuk.com. 
If you're looking to grow a business, visit paulnicholson.com. That's where we talk about more business stuff. But hopefully, I've given you some ideas of what fourth wall, pnuk.com, fourth, can give you an idea of how good it can be. Any questions? I know that probably got a bit scatty in the end. They always seem to these live um, setup videos where I already get one shot at some things. But hopefully that was uh, that, hopefully that was worthwhile and has got you thinking. Thanks for watching. See you all again soon. Paul the Punk out. <laughs>